What is going on YouTube? This is Smash Rocket today back with a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a DIY YouTube studio and setup. Make sure to like and subscribe, that would be very appreciated and let's get right into the video here. So the first step in making a DIY YouTube setup to start is you have to make a softbox and I'm going to uh, give it away to the tutorial for Now that you have your DIY softbox made, you're going to want to make one more of those. Okay, when you have both of them, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take like an extra sheet or curtain or something, and you're going to want to hang it up behind you with two PVC pipes leaning against it. You can also put two weights on the floor, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, guys, so here is what it looks like. As you can see, I have two PVC pipes right there, leaning up against holding up that sheet. Uh, and I also clamped both of my uh, DIY soft boxes to that PVC pipe, and I put two weights on the floor holding it down. That should be a good backdrop for you guys. So, you guys have officially completed your YouTube studio. But now, how are you going to film it and get great audio? I'll show you how to do that now. So the first thing that you're going to want to have to get Christmas audio is a lavalier mic. I'm going to show you a tutorial by the photo slash video show, and he's going to show you exactly how to make a DIY lavalier mic. So here is the section that we want to cut first. You want to cut the section that does not have the microphone on it. So cut that headphone off first. It's got some sort of fibrous filament on the inside, so you might have a few little strands left over. You can use the scissors in order to cut that, get rid of that. So it ought to look like that after you're done, and you should only have one headphone left with the microphone and volume buttons left. Next you want to take your snips, and you're going to want to clip right above the microphone. So with the headphone gone, you should only have one wire left. Next, take some electrical tape and attach the microphone on top of the tie clip like this. Should take about two or three rounds around that thing and you should still have full function of the actual clip itself. Next, if you want to take a Sharpie and you want to color the tip of the microphone and the cable, you can. But I have to admit, I, I worked on coloring this entire cable all the way to where it would have originally split. 
but after a little while, even after it dried, I noticed that it was probably going to come off and it just didn't seem like a feasible way in the long term to keep it black. Alright guys, now that you've completed your DIY lavalier mic, you should have pretty good audio quality. Now all you need is good video quality. Seems simple, right? Well, you're absolutely right. It is. All you need is an up-to-date smartphone or mobile device and you can lean it up anywhere in your studio that gives you a good um, angle. Or you could even use a tripod, those work really well. And you should be good to go with video quality. That's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe down below and have a nice day.